snow, wind, erosion, heat. Engineers can't change the way the environment works, but they can anticipate the effects of the environment on the structures they plan and build. Adam Fox knows that in hurricanes and heat waves, the structures he helps plan must be ready for an ever-changing environment. So this is the basin where we're at? Yep, so there's the two basins and the manhole. The manhole comes in, culvert over here. I'm an environmental engineer. And I do a lot of civil site design mixed with some environmental engineering. I would say maybe 10 to 20 percent of my time is going out checking what a contractor is doing so that it's protective of human health and the environment. My typical day is really involves a lot of client communication, discussing with our clients what they actually want. So what we need to do is put um, hay bales around each of these catch basins, okay. talking with our individual engineers and geologists so that what we are putting on paper a contractor can then construct and it makes sense. Doing some problem solving so that if there is an issue with that that we're kind of communicating to make sure that we're getting the best product for our clients so that it's it's meeting our design criteria while being able to be actually constructed in the field. I knew that I was going to become an engineer um, in high school when I kind of was excelling in math and sciences and I really kind of liked the environmental aspects of it so that's why I went into environmental engineering. Engineering isn't just all about doing the math and science, you have to have a background in standard English and making sure that you can communicate well. Technical people are usually known for being stuffy sitting at their desks, you know, not talking to each other, but you know, that's really the opposite here. We definitely have a lot of camaraderie and are always working on projects together, so there's a lot of interaction that way. The thing I like the best is really the problem solving aspects of engineering. Taking a existing, maybe complicated site and getting it to where the end use is really beneficial to everyone is what really motivates me. The part that I enjoy the most is that I like to think that the environment is a little bit better off when I'm done with my work.